Yes, initially it looked something like this. And it later on gone on to look something like this. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Abdul Raza and yeah, today I'm going to discuss about my final year project. In case you don't know, I am a student in the Electronics and Communication Department. In case you need to know, and I have made a final year project of which we are going to discuss today. Do watch the video till the end. Thank you for watching and stopping by. So, without any further ado, let's start the process now. So, now you have seen how the project looks. If you haven't seen I can take a look here so that is how it looks so this project I would call it as a Arduino based project kind of thing using a GSM module as well as a few sensors like raindrop sensor soil moisture sensor and uh, the humidity and temperature sensor it is known as a DHT 11 sensor which I will talk about it later the later part of the video so this is how it looks when the Arduino is given the power from the laptop itself and uh, this is the lab view software in which I have designed this interface and uh, according to the interface uh, we have to select the com port and uh, next hit run after that start acquiring which will show the values being recorded by the sensors in the way of numbers as well as the graphs as you can see the temperature soil moisture humidity as well as the rain sensing all are being shown here all the four parameters this is the live data being uh, captured from the sensors itself and this is done on the clip in which you can see i have not staked the components uh, as you saw before and uh, this is the Arduino you know in the middle the blue board and this is the dh11 sensor the small thing and this is the power supply section on the breadboard the white breadboard thing and this is the raindrop sensor this is the soil moisture sensor placed in the dry and wet soil as you can see and this is the gsm module which i am using for my project and uh, yes you can also see the sim is visible so yes we do also have a stop acquiring button in the bottom if you click on that, we will just stop the values being recorded from the sensors for time being and if you again start, if you again want to start, you can click on the start acquiring button that is as simple as that so guys, I have these uh, double tapes which sticks from both sides, from this side as well as from that side from two of the sides so guess what I'm going to do with this. So yes, as you can so as you guys can see this is the sensor and in the back I have stick this uh, two way tape to stick it over here somewhere. In the same way I have already stick this uh, this module as you can see it's not moving as well as the Arduino sorry the Arduino yes I sticked but I have to remove the second part of it in the same way I stick this uh, breadboard part I am using this as a power supply basically I am using the supply from here and uh, 5 volt pin and the ground pin I'm giving it here and it is supplying power to the various sensors as well as the GSM module from here, here and here that's that and I the links will be in the description do check them out you can get them for your own project and said uh, all of the links are provided for these all 
components or hardware which I'm using in my project and uh, when when it comes to those links it will be the best buy links for these components so you better check them out so guys this is how my project is looking after a little bit of finishing touch by sticking as you can see the gravel tape below everything I feel the it is the best way to present another as you can see this is how it looks I'm using the Arduino you know GSM sim 800a or you can search online for sim 900a both of them are having the same features and they are exactly same and the DHT11 the humidity and temperature sensor which senses the humidity and temperature in the air as you guys know humidity is defined as the the amount of water vapor in the air is the breadboard side part which I have used here and I have sticked everything on this plank as you can see I am shaking it and it's not as you can see so I have sticked it and this is the rain drop sensor with FC37 senses the, the amount of rain the working of this this actually shows the value of the resistance when all the water is fell on this part the resistance is decreased and hence we can uh, understand that there is some water and so there is some rain i hope you are able to understand so that is the working of this uh, rain drop sensor and next comes the soil moisture sensor as you can see it's already a little bit dirty as i place in the soil for the moisture testing so this thing what it will do is that uh, it will measure the amount of moisture in the soil or you can even say in the better understandable words like the amount of water inside the soil for presenting this sensor i will uh, take two cups and uh, one will be the dry dry soil and the other will be the wet soil so to make the difference and uh, that will be the good thing if possible i will show you in the link part of the video and uh, so yeah that is my simple arduino project comes with these two sensors as you can see this uh, rain drop sensor has this uh, LM393 computer and you can also say this as a voltage computer which uh, converts the voltage which this is used and sends it to the Arduino something like that and that, that is having with the both sensors that is the soil moisture this was the soil moisture and this was the rain drop sensor and for humidity it is nothing like that it's a simple small uh, sensor and it senses two properties like temperature and humidity which is a great thing and uh, in this JSON module I am using a Vodafone SIM in it as it supports 850 MHz and 1900 MHz range so that is that and this is the antenna so I will end the video here as the video is getting really long and uh, if you did like the video do hit the like share and subscribe and share with your friends and stay tuned for more for more technology videos on this channel and thank you for watching